In this video, we're going to look at ammonia hybridization. It's a little different from what we've seen uh, before with other hybridization. So uh, the first thing I want to do is draw the Vesper for ammonia. There are four electron groups. And so we want to draw four electron groups. That means it's tetrahedral. As far as the electron geometry, so let's take a look at NH3. We're going to have nitrogen in the middle. There's going to be a lone pair because we have four uh, electron groups, three of which are bonding. These are non-bonding. I'm going to draw in the plane that hydrogen and then I'm going to draw my wedge here for the hydrogen that is coming out of the plane and then I'm going to draw dashes going back for the hydrogen that is behind our plane. Now let's draw the energy diagram. So we have 1s electron for nitrogen in its ground state. Uh, I'm sorry, two 1s electrons. And then in our 2s orbital, we have two electrons. And then in 2p, we've got one, two, three electrons. So you can see nitrogen has three unpaired electrons, which can form three bonds. But here's our problem. What we have here is a tetrahedral electron geometry. What that means is, um, all those are going to be need to be the same kind of orbital. Even though these are non-bonding, they need to be that same kind of orbital. This is similar to methane. So we need to hybridize. You're going to notice something is missing when we hybridize. We're not going to excite any of or promote any of the electrons. We're simply going straight to hybridization and we need four orbitals that are identical. This is going to be sp3 hybridization. But you will notice that the s electrons don't get promoted to p and p doesn't get promoted to d. So there is no promotion. We simply go straight to hybridization. And so this is going to be nitrogen in the bonded state. So we still have our lone pair that's non-bonding. And um, notice I circled all of those electrons that are being hybridized and notice we drew the hybridized orbitals in between the S and the P. Now I'm going to have my three hydrogens, each with their uh, 1S electrons. And I'm going to show that those are coming in here, here, and here. And so that's where our bonding occurs. And you will notice that um, the lone pair bonding pair repulsion is greater is greater than bonding pair 
bonding pair, repulsion. And so that's why these electrons are going to push on each of these a little bit more. So it's not 109.5 for an angle. The angle is 107.9 degrees because of that extra repulsion.